Hello guys, Winston here. More often than I expected, someone reaches out to me who's completely new to CNC. They may or may not have done some market research on machines, they may or may not have an idea of what a CNC workflow looks like, but they want to jump into the world of digital fabrication and they're looking for advice, and that's awesome. I applaud them for their interest. But there's almost always some hesitation about diving in headfirst because it's not exactly cheap and it's unfamiliar territory. It may seem like buying a one-way ticket to a foreign country and hoping you'll be able to figure it out as you go. But I promise you, the challenges facing you with the CNC are far tamer than that. While I can't hope to address every question or worry, I do want to try and take some of the mystery out of CNC machining in the hopes that many of you will realize that the process is less daunting than you think. There are a couple basic skills you need to learn to use in combination to go from idea to product, and you may already know some of them if you're an artist or designer or an engineer. So let's start at the top. What is CNC? CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control. It describes basically any mechanical process that's controlled by a computer and defined by numbers. These numbers are usually coordinates, which means a CNC is essentially a big machine that plays connect the dots in three-dimensional space. When people say CNC, they're usually referring to CNC milling machines or other subtractive manufacturing tools like lathes. But technically speaking, 3D printers and laser cutters are all in the same family. What makes CNC milling trickier than something like 3D printing is that the process is quite violent. You're using a sharp cutting tool at high speeds to rip material away, and so many things could go spectacularly wrong. There's no magic software that does your thinking for you. You need to know whether or not the cut you programmed was too deep, you need to pick the right machining techniques in the right order to cut the shapes you want. You need to know if the material you selected will respond favorably to the types of stresses you're subjecting it to. If you're working with something really thin, for example, it might bend or break when you're cutting it. There are so many things to consider, but it's knowledge that you can safely accumulate over time. The learning curve is quite manageable if you start simple and build your way up. And if you get something wrong, the worst that will usually happen is that you break an end mill and you're out a couple dollars. But trust me, CNC is a very rewarding process. No other digital fabrication technique lets you make anything quite like old-fashioned subtractive manufacturing can. Woods, plastics, metals, smooth shapes, rounded shapes, rough shapes, they are all within reach, and it opens up a whole new world of things you can create. In the next few weeks, I'll be putting out videos that'll walk you through what goes into a CNC, how you design for CNC machining, and what you need to know to run a CNC. I hope you'll stick around and come to believe that using a CNC is well within your reach. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.